Okay, what we have here is a motor generator unit, uh, 2,900 watt generator and a three-quarter horse induction motor. What we're going to attempt to do here is start this up by using regular AC power, uh, flip over the system where the generator itself runs the motor, and the modified generator, which the generator has been modified as long as, uh, as, as far as also a special coil built, uh, the generator itself will be enough power to run both a 14 amp bench grinder and a 16 amp drill press. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to take this AC extension, I'm going to plug it into the power source. I'm going to turn on the unit. I'm going to switch over the unit to the generator source itself. We're going to unplug from the AC and simply lay that over here. I'm going to take a 14 amp bench grinder and I'll plug into the generating system. I start the grinder. And to show you that the grinder is working, all right? I'm going to turn off the grinder, and I'm going to plug in the drill press. Now it's hard to see a drill press working on video, so we stuck a screwdriver in it, so you can tell. Yes, it was working. I'm going to unplug the drill press. To shut off the unit, we simply DC the power from the generator to the motor. Like this. Now listen, this generator has enough power to run this motor barely. Okay, but we have modified the generator, so now we have in excess of 200 times more power from ground zero.